Welcome to the Comic Book Shop of Doom. I'm your host. This video is not for children, so if you're under 13, get your parents' permission to watch this. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, there's a rumored Luke Skywalker solo movie. So he's going to do... Uh, Luke Skywalker is going to maybe get his own movie, depending on if Disney has the money or not. Because supposedly in September, there's supposed to be some massive cuts, and they're going to shelve a lot of projects. But they've admitted, at least to themselves, that they ruined that character out of The Last Jedi. So, the rumor is, it's going to take place 10 years after Return of the Jedi. And it's basically, what they're kind of hinting at is, Luke may have a family or a kid. And supposedly, in The Force Awakens, uh, well, that takes The Force Awakens takes place 20 years after this. But um, during the Rise of Skywalker, Zori Bliss, who was um, Carrie Russell, that was supposed to be the secret Skywalker. That was supposed to be his daughter. So they're wondering if it's going to be Mara Jade or um, Cammie from the first Star Wars A New Hope. She had the exercise scenes. So they're wondering if... Because in, in some of the books, they've had it where her and Luke were married in like an alternate timeline. So, or, or is there a third person that Luke gets married to? They invent a new character. So, they're going to show um, something happened with Luke's life where uh, they want to get, they want to correct that Last Jedi stuff. That that's why he gave up on society and went to live as a hermit on an island. So basically what they're going to say is he was forced to do it because of, you know, his wife died and something happened with his kid. So, and they're also talking about either using Mark Hamill to de-age him, using uh, the de-aging technology in the computer, or using Sebastian Stan, the guy that plays the Winter Soldier in the Marvel movies, because he kind of looks like him and... Mark Hamill one time actually said that he gave the thumbs up if Sebastian Stan was going to play a young Luke Skywalker. He says he's a good pick. So that, that is a cool idea. So what we know is, you know, this has been talked about. So will it happen? It's up in the air right now, depending on the financial situation. And um, because there was talk that they want to ignore now the Star Wars the sequels, the, the Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker, because that Last Jedi was so bad, it turned a lot of people off to the stuff. So they're trying to correct this now. And I actually have a little plan I was going to do in a couple of days. I got to get the time to do it. I got a board, and I'm going to show you uh, how I would save Star Wars. But. The quick fix, according to them, is let's do a movie and we'll explain why Luke did what he did. And, you know, and uh, and plus, he really didn't get a, a movie of his own. It's, it really sucked. You know, that um, Harrison Ford got a better part out of The Force Awakens than Luke did out of any of those movies. So, you know, you know it's supposed to be Hans Luke's Leia's movie, and it was Carrie Fisher died, so they had to use what they could. Luke's cameo, you know, as a ghost. Han makes an appearance as, you know, a figment of this guy's imagination. So, and, you know, there's a, supposedly a cut of a, a George Lucas cut where he had all three of those people reunited at the end, you know, as ghosts or whatever. So, uh,. Sebastian Stan, I could see that. He kind of looks like Mark Hamill in the face. So I, I could see that. I could see both versions of that, where they de-age Luke. You know, they de-age Mark Hamill, and then they take Sebastian Stan and have him do some of the stuff. So um, I'm sure he would do it. He's doing the Winter Soldier. I mean, that'd be a step up. Now he's going to be in a Star Wars movie. You know, he, I mean, he'd be the lead. So no more second fiddle for him. But what do I think of it? I, I'm kind of, I, I'd go see it. And um, at this point, I think that all of their stuff is basically the Star Wars multiverse. Because there's so much stuff now that if there is something you don't like, you could just say it's, it's an alternate dimension. You know, it's an alternate reality. And that's how I address a lot of this stuff. So, everybody have a good day.